This morning, fire crews say they responded to hundreds of grass and brush fires in North Texas since the 4th of July holiday began. Chris Sonagy is live in Fort Worth this morning where one show is actually cut short because of a fire. Yeah, Kara, the July 4th holiday, when we were going into it, we heard from a lot of public officials across the area that if you could go to a public fireworks show, that might be the safest bet because of the burn bans and just of how dry it's been. But even some of those public shows had to be halted, including here at Panther Island Pavilion in Fort Worth, where they stopped the show just minutes after it began because the grass fires were starting along the Trinity River. People in attendance started posting some of the video on social media showing the fireworks up in the air and then moments later the fire on the ground as fire trucks pulled up with the spectators and the music all still there blaring. The city decided to end the show, but once the crowd left, they did set off the remaining firework supply around midnight to exhaust what they had in a controlled setting. It's been an extremely dry summer. The Fort Worth Fire Department said for the entire holiday weekend, they responded to 203 brush fires. That's 126 more than last year. And they're not alone. They were popping up all over the area. This is video from last night of Dallas Fire Rescue putting out a fire under the Sylvan Bridge. They say it was started by fireworks. And then just down the river, they had another fire to deal with under the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. The trucks had to fight through the crowds of people there who were celebrating. The big fireworks show in McKinney was also called off because of the high winds were blowing some of the embers from the fireworks outside the safety area. The high winds combined with just how dry it's been, it is a recipe for these brush fires. Guys, back to you. Yeah, thank you for that, Chris. And